How's everyone doing today? I just want to do a quick video on how important it is to have a second set of cartridges with cleaning solution in them. Okay, doesn't matter what you have, even on L1800, you should have a set of dampeners with cleaning solution in them, an XP15000, a set of cartridges with cleaning solution in them. Uh, even if you're running a SIS, pull out the SIS cartridges, pull these out, all right, and then just put in a regular set of cartridges, like so. This is for my 1900. That SIS system is for my 1900. All right, so th this is my cartridges I have for a cleaning solution. Um, I use these when, if I go home, say it's the weekend and I'm not gonna come back to the shop for two days, take that out, take the SIS out, take your cartridges out, whatever the case may be, put these in, run a couple cleaning cycles, all right? You wanna get that ink out of the head and get the cleaning solution in there so the ink doesn't dry up. Now, people are gonna say, that's not necessary, blah, 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 BS. It's necessary because the ink will slowly dry inside that head and it's gonna build up over time. So if you wanna prevent problems, this is what you need to do, all right? If you're too lazy and you don't wanna do that, DTF printing is not for you, okay? I'm not trying to discourage anybody. This isn't difficult stuff. I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm just telling you how it is, all right? You don't want problems do the maintenance now to the level of maintenance that you want to do is totally up to you but if you don't do it you're going to have problems even when i leave for an hour for lunch i come back and i try to print uh if, print whatever the first quarter of the print is missing white that's how fast the white ink starts to dry uh, okay so if you're gonna leave for an hour, a couple hours, sometimes I'll start up the printer in the morning. You can see my other video that I did for the startup procedure on a, on a DTF printer. But if, if I leave for an hour, if I'm not gonna print for a couple hours, when I go back to start printing again, the first thing I do is I run a print head cleaning because that white, like I said, that white ink starts to dry, not with the cartridges, with the cleaning solution, those you're only going to use if you're gone for more than a day okay put those in flush them out even this thing with the big squirt gun cartridges you don't have to buy empty large cartridges like this you can get the stock um what are they 80 milliliter cartridges uh these these are 280 or 250 something like that 280 i think and then these are like 120 i just happen to have these um because when i was getting going i didn't know any better so I bought these, I have two P800s, and I have two sets of cartridges with cleaning solutions so that I can put these in each printer. And same thing with the 1900. I got cleaning solution, cartridges with cleaning solution in there for the 1900 so I can put those in there also, all right? And then again, don't just put them in there, put them in there, run a couple print head cleanings and make sure that you get that ink out of the head because the buildup over time is what's gonna kill it, all right? That's what's gonna give you problems. You're not gonna get um, a good nozzle check. You're not gonna get good white coverage. You're gonna see lines, and that's mostly caused because the nozzles are starting to clog, all right? So that's what you wanna do. Um, to me, that's my method. That's the best method because I hardly have problems with my printers because I'm really meticulous about taking care of them, making sure that, you know, I run print head cleanings. If you don't have an external tank or a chip resetter for your maintenance tank, get one because it's gonna get full. Uh, I mean, not all the time, but it's gonna get full. You know, this 1900 has a bottle on it. It's down on the floor and that thing's like half full and it's only, that bottle's only been on there for, I don't know, maybe three weeks now. And, uh, these guys I have to change at least, you know, probably once a week, maybe twice a week. These things get, they get full. This is just a feminine napkin. That's, I guess, the proper term for it. Uh, because they fit in here and they're very absorbent. All right, so mine has a chipless um, firmware, my 800s and my cartridges, my maintenance tank always say empty 
So that's another thing that you wanna check into if you don't have chipless firmware, at least get a resetter so you can reset those things because they get costly. I'm trying to keep this video short, so that's all I got for you right now. Check out my other videos, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you have any questions, drop them below in the comments and I'll see you later.